honor and splendor while holding on to humility. Become a wellspring of eternal virtue and power. When plain wood is fashioned into objects, it becomes something different. If you keep your original qualities, the greater whole will not be divided. You will become the greatest of leaders, for you will govern least. World domination cannot succeed. All creation is sacred and cannot be controlled. If you try, you will fail. The more we grab, the more we lose. All things have their time. Just as we breathe in and breathe out, People will either lead or follow. People will either have strength or weakness. The sage has no need for extremes. Wise advisors utter dire warnings against the use of hostility for conquest. Hostility is like a rabid dog that turns on its master. Where armies gather, the earth offers only thorns and weeds. Armies are plagued by misfortune. Once a good leader has achieved the desired result, he withdraws. He does not push on to dominate. He acts only out of necessity. He is not arrogant. He does not brag, boast, or flaunt his success. He has no need to dominate. All forced actions weaken quickly, for they are not in tune with the Tao. Weapons are the tools of misfortune. It is best to hate them. Followers of the Tao never use them. People of honor stay at home and value their good fortune. Those who go to war are courting disaster. War serves evil and brings misfortune. It is not the tool of respectable people. When the last resort becomes a necessity, value your calmness and detachment above all. A victory is not a reason to celebrate. Those who seek glory are those who find joy in the kill. Such people will have no success in this world. Mourn for the vanquished and treat every victory as a funeral. The Tao is difficult to detect and claims no name for itself. It is no person's servant. If rulers could harness its power, all creation would naturally obey. Heaven and earth would rejoice in sweet harmony. All people would live together in peace, without effort, because of their own kind, loving hearts. In the beginning, there was the Word. We divided the Word to make names. Then labels were given to too many things know when to stop. Too many words can be dangerous. Streams run into rivers that run into the ocean. Likewise, we are all born of the Tao and flow back to our Creator.
To understand others is wise. To understand yourself is divine. To overcome others is forceful. To overcome the self is powerful. To know labor is to have strength. To know contentment is to be wealthy. Hold on to your base. Give yourself to your position and live long. Those who die but do not perish give themselves to the Tao and live forever. The Tao is like a great universal flood. It covers all things. All things depend on it but it never stops to take possession of any of them. It works without asking for gratitude. It provides for all things without requiring their obedience. It asks for nothing. It is not insignificant. It is where we call home. It will not dominate us. We call it great. It does not claim greatness. It achieves greatness. Hold on to this great image. All under heaven will come to you without harm. They will bring harmonious peace. A traveler will stop with great pleasure for music and dining. Yet the word of the Tao, spoken out of the mouth, is bland and tasteless. When I look for it, there is nothing to see. When I listen to it, there is nothing to hear. When I use it, it is never exhausted. If you want something to shrink, you must let it expand. If you want something to become weak, you must let it be strong. If you want to lose something, first you must find it. If you want to take something, first you must give it away. This wisdom comes with subtle clarity. The soft and the weak will always overcome the hard and the strong. Fish cannot leave the water. It is still best not to let them see your hook. The Tao is forever still. It is the origin of all action. If a leader can hold on to this, all things can change themselves. People who change themselves strive for achievement. Restrain them with the simplicity of the nameless. This simplicity will cause them to lose their desire. Without desire, the world will use simplicity to settle itself. Highest virtue does not define itself as virtuous and is therefore good. Those without virtue cling to their virtuous image. This is not good. 
highest virtue has no set plans for attaining its purpose. Lowest virtue plots, schemes, and plans to get its own way. Benevolence has a plan, but not for its own benefit. Self-righteousness plots, schemes, and plans to serve itself only. Those who follow traditions, rituals, and rules of high etiquette have a definite plan in mind. If you do not offer them the desired response, they will use violence to pull you in. When the Tao is lost, there is virtue. When virtue is lost, there is benevolence. When benevolence is lost, there is righteousness. When righteousness is lost, there are rules of behavior. These rules thinly mask chaos. If you know this ahead of time, you can be a flower of the Tao and beholder of their innocence. A great person sees the substance and not the shell. Focus on the source and not the flower. Choose this and discard that. Here is a list of things that have become whole since ancient times. The sky is whole and has clarity. The earth is whole and has stability. The spirit is whole and is divine. The valley is whole and has abundance. All things are whole and have life. People who are whole become great leaders and set a new standard for the world. These all come from one thing. Without clarity, the sky would fall apart. Without stability, the earth would erupt. Without divinity, the great spirit would cease to exist. Without abundance, the valley would be desolate. All things, without life, become extinct. A leader without standards is followed by no one. Those in high places are wise to notice what they are standing on. The higher needs the lower as a foundation. Why do great leaders call themselves alone, lacking, and unworthy? Because they know their position is entirely dependent on those who support them. Therefore, the ultimate achievement is no achievement at all. It is wise not to value yourself too much and shine forth as if you are spectacular. Be content with being average and ordinary. Returning is what the Tao does. Use it gently, softly. All things in the world come from being. Being is born of the non-being. Those destined for a superior existence 
hear of the Tao, 